Hey guys, my name is Nerida and today I'm going to share with you um, 100 or possibly more <laughs> digital items that you can sell right now and make at least $1,000 a week. And so my, um, I guess my first thought when I started making this video was to make a list of about 50 items and the list kind of just grew and grew and grew. And so we're about at 100 or give or take, maybe a little bit more than 100. Um, and then I try to group them into different categories. So um, you'll see as I go through the list. And so this is going to possibly be a video that you might want to rewatch or um, take notes as you watch it. Okay, so the first couple of ideas are kind of gloomy and um, may seem kind of um, I guess sad. And I know not everyone's going to want to create these. Uh, but unfortunately uh, death does happen and these items are very useful especially for like a grieving family um, so definitely consider these so the first one would be a funeral checklist a memorial celebration of life either in a slideshow or a um, poster a funeral memorial signs um, and then these can be templates or they, these can be created, uh, sorry, there was a car passing by. So these could either be uh, templates or they could be um, something that you create for the customer. And so the next one would be a guest uh, registry and thank you cards for those who attended the service. So these next group of items would be uh, patterns and these items could be sold as a digital item. Um, and these would be patterns for uh, either uh, cross stitching, embroidery designs, uh, crochet patterns, uh, knitting patterns. Um, I have sewing uh, patterns as well. You could sell, um, in the sewing patterns, obviously it's, 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 it's huge. You can focus just on like, as small children or you can focus on things such as like bags and purses or you can uh, focus on shoes so you can have a store uh, where you just sell uh, you know crochet patterns or knitting patterns or you could have a store where you sell all of these different patterns in there um, you could also sell quilting patterns and so I know these are very popular um, things to sell. You could also sell license uh, so that they could uh, create these items and then resell them or sell the items, not necessarily sell the digital files, but sell the items once they, um, they use your patterns to create them. So I know that would be a little bit more into licensing, uh, but you know, you could definitely make either commission on it or you could, uh, you know, I guess upsell them uh, the license. Um, I've seen many times where somebody sells a pattern for like, you know, five, 10, 20 bucks, and then they sell the license, uh, you know, for a hundred bucks or something like that. So it just uh, depends on what items you are selling and how much your licensing would be, will sell for. So the next one would be uh, more like uh, for pregnancy, and this would be uh, for a pregnancy, like a pregnancy journal. So it would be more like a, a low content or no content book. Um, and then a lot of these items you can sell in a um, either as a download or you can actually pair this up with a print on demand um, company. And so like I mentioned, the first one would be pregnancy journal. Um, the next item that you can sell is a baby book. And then the next one would be a pregnancy book, a pregnancy planner and a pregnancy diary. So now in this fourth category, it would be more like someone that's trying that's starting a business, um, and and so these these would be more geared towards uh, small business owners. And the first idea or product would be labels for packaging, um, and there, there's a lot of different labels that you can definitely sell. Um, I know when I started my candles, I um, created all of my labels. And I actually wished I would have just bought pack um, some of these labels or packaging from someone else, like a template, because it would have made my life so much easier. So definitely consider uh, some of these packaging labels. 
or uh, labels for product. You could also look into logos. Um, logos, could, you could either make a template for, uh, for someone to create their own logos, or you can actually offer that service. I know in this video I said I was going to be sharing with you um, digital or uh, products, um, but I, I like to include services just because in the beginning um, you might want to start making um, you know like more money and providing these type of services uh, have a higher value and a higher price point. So the next one would be a business card and the same thing you can either create the business card for the customer or just sell the template. Um, business planners are pretty popular and, and um, sell very well. Um, and then this was something that you might have considered or you might have even bought yourself. Um, this would be Etsy banner. And the next one would be a YouTube banner. So many people that are um, starting their own shops, they also um, will start a YouTube uh, channel or a um, an Instagram and Facebook. So uh, Instagram and Facebook, you could either sell uh, templates for them so that they can create content. Um, you could also sell Lightroom um, presets. Most people want to have a consistent brand and so uh, Lightroom um, presets usually help. Snapchat filters. And then I kind of included this in here and this would be more like blogging stock photos and website themes and website banners. And then the next idea or the next product would be a printable uh, stationery. So this next couple of items are more like a uh, fun gifts uh, for someone. And so someone would buy these if, um, if it's like a last minute gift or if they are just trying to make their gift more personalized. And so the first one is a personalized love coupons. And with this one, I would also consider making like a babysitting coupon. Like printable games uh, could also be a fun thing either for family or for couples. The next one would be boarding ticket templates. And so these are very popular in couples as well. I can see a lot of this uh, being sold during like Valentine's or Christmas or for birthdays. So now we're gonna start getting into weddings. And so this one's a, a pretty, um, I guess a sought out or a looked after uh, would be a wedding invitation, uh, a passport wedding invitation. And so this would be good for um, if someone's having a wedding that's gonna, going to uh, require some traveling, they might uh, do something like that, like a passport um, wedding invitation or a passport wedding announcement. Um, I know there's a lot of destination weddings now that um, everything's opened up again. And so of course, we're gonna talk about wedding invitations, uh, wedding uh, menu templates, editable um, menu cards, uh, table settings, wedding program, fan, ceremony programs, engagement party, RSVP card, thank you tags that can be put on gifts. Um, and then these could be uh, for weddings and for other holidays as well. Wedding favor uh, and bag stickers. Think of wedding signs, seating charts, wedding table numbers, wine bottle labels. I don't know why I put champagne tables, but it's actually champagne labels and tags. Uh, water bottle labels, rehearsal uh, dinner invites, change the date cards. Those were pretty, uh, I guess, big and popular a few months ago whenever um, everybody had to postpone their wedding. Um, so postponed a wedding date, uh, some type of cards or announcements, a bridal shower invites, bridal shower games. Uh, those can be really fun to create. And then bachelorette weekend invitations. So the next group would be, um, we're gonna go back to pregnancy. And so it would be pregnancy announcements, uh, newborn baby uh, shopping list, baby shower planner, a hospital bag checklist for delivery. Um, I know I mentioned pregnancy journal and baby book and, um, and pregnancy planners and a baby or a pregnancy or a baby diary. 
Um, but some of these can be uh, grouped into like a package or a bundle. And I like selling bundles because um, obviously there's there's more more money. It's it's a bigger um, price point. So the next one would be baby shower invites, uh, printable baby shower games, uh, word scramble games, printable bingos, uh, custom um, due date countdown calendars. Uh, pregnancy calendars, baby's first year, either as a weekly journal or monthly journal, um, birth announcement, family handbook printables, uh, nanny binder. Um, that's a pretty, pretty uh, big one that you can sell as a, um, and it would have a higher price point. Like babysitter information form, you can have like a child care log. You could include a caregiver, um, like a caregiver planner, baby sleeping log, emergency contact information. So some of these you can actually put in the uh, nanny uh, binder or you could actually uh, sell them individually or you can do both. So these next items would be, um, I guess, uh, geared or or, or um, created more for uh, co-parenting, and this would be a, a custody a calendar printable. So it could be, um, you know, when parents are separated um, or not together, then they have different days that they um, have uh, their children. So this can come in really handy. Um, if you create either like a, just separate printables or you create a bundle so that they can have a printable ba uh, binder. And so you can include child's information such as medical information. Um, they could include uh, parents' information and emergency contacts, a visitation planner like monthly or weekly, um, year visitation. Um, so that way parents can plan year ahead of time um, you know, the holidays and and important dates uh, between both of the couples. Visitation log, a communication log, incident report. Um, I think th these could also be used either in the nanny or for a, um, or for the couple. So the exchange contact uh, journal, condition of child tracker, child support tracker, doctor visitation tracker, expense reimbursement tracker, schedule changes, holiday schedules. So you could also create legal documents and court documents. I would definitely recommend you do your own research when it comes to this, And uh, but I see a lot of money that could be made when it comes to these uh, legal documents. Remember, you're not necessarily saying that you are um, you know, involved legally with this. It, these are just templates. So these would just be, t uh, you know, like templates for legal documents and for court documents. They're not necessarily, um, you know, you don't have to fill them in or fill them out for them. These would just be the templates that they could use. But definitely do your own research when it comes to this. So the next uh, area or group of, of um, ideas would be in the organization. And so the first idea of um, a product would be inventory log, a daily checklist, dinner or meal planning, weekly dinner menus, um, grocery list, fridge log, a kid's meal planning, kid's meal a tracker, a chore chart, and then a screen time tracker. And then uh, I kind of just grouped this one in here, and then this would be more like a habit tracker, and then a printable uh, mood tracker. And then right after this, it would be um, cleaning schedule, cleaning checklist, bathroom cleaning chart. So these would be really good um, products to create. So the next one would be a printable school worksheets and so these would be used for like homeschools or homeschooling parents 
and it could be um, printable homeschooling workbooks. You can create uh, printable um, kids flashcards, printable um, homeschooling calendars, and um, kid wall art. Vacation planners and uh, plan and trip planners or trip uh, schedulers are really good. Affirmation cards, affirmation art, um, affirmation posters. So these are some other businesses that I see that um, that sell very well on Etsy. And um, these are like other small businesses that I that I see that um, that you can definitely create templates for. The first one would be a daycare. The next one would be nail shops and beauty salons. And then the next one would be real estate. And you can definitely create a lot of real estate uh, templates. So the next ideas would be for birthdays. And this would be birthday cards, birthday invitations, birthday banners, and uh, birthday decorations. And so this one would be more for like either small business or for home. And this would be like Excel templates. Um, I see a lot of different templates, but um, I also see people looking specifically for Excel. And so this would be either for a bookkeeping, um, like, a, like a small business owner or someone that just started working from home. They can definitely benefit from this, or it could be for someone that just, uh, so they can run their own um, household, um, I guess, expenses and keep track of that. So this next one would be um, more for like budgeting and saving. And this one would be a money management um, in the money management category. And so this one would be printable cash envelopes. I see that you can definitely make uh, some cute uh, envelopes and have the customer print them themselves. So I see that's pretty popular right now and you can definitely make money in that area. Uh, budget planners are still uh, really good. Um, you can still have um, make quite a bit of money in budget planner. The next idea is uh, woodworking plans. So if you are already a woodworker, you can definitely create uh, some of the plans and sell them. So um, I know my husband does a lot of woodwork and um, people have actually requested uh, to buy some of his, um, I guess, designs. And so this is a really good way to make money and this is very, really passive. For someone that already does what work and then some of the popular ones that I've seen are um, the tall wooden uh, planters those are doing really well and then outdoor furniture and pergola plans so this next one would be art and designs for crafters and artists and so um, this would be more like if you're already really good at uh, drawing and have really good designs, you can definitely sell your digital designs so that other crafters can use them. And so um, these would be more like PNG designs without the background. You could also sell mock-ups for crafters. And so you can sell mock-ups in the t-shirts or for um, like woodwork. You could also create fonts and pictures and SVG files. So this next one is uh, coloring pages for kids and adults. And I think I mentioned um, games earlier for baby showers, but you can also create printable family games. And then this is a really good one um, that I um, see sells a lot during the holidays. And this one would be a digital paper and digital ebooks. And then this one can be a little controversial because it's it's a digital download, but it's also can be a service. And this one would be a horoscope reading. 
Um, so you could, you could, it could be a service, like I said, a horoscope reading. Um, you would still have to, um, I guess, provide the customer with a, with a download. Um, and then the next one would be a tarot card. So I see a lot of people buying tarot cards um, as a digital file. And then, so you would sell the tarot cards, and you would create the tarot cards or design them and then have the customer print them themselves. Graduation invitations are a, a really good way to make money, especially over the summer. And then um, printable like cards, like birthday cards, holiday cards, and greeting cards, uh, get well soon, thinking of you. Um, I think I already mentioned gift tags for, um, for weddings, but you can definitely do gift tags for holidays, um, as well as birthdays and teachers. Printable cupcake uh, toppers. I know those um, are super, um, super uh, good to have. Um, those are might be at a lower, um, I guess, um, selling point or selling amount, um, but you can sell quite a bit of them. Um, I know I have a, a shop and you can definitely sell some of that. Uh, party signs, birthday booth uh, frames, uh, picture props, digital phone wall uh, papers, a digital phone wallpaper, sorry, a digital printable uh, backdrop for parties. So um, the customer, you would create the backdrop for the customer and then the customer would, either, would have to go to a shop and get it printed. Um, and these do really good for weddings and for like anniversaries or, um, or just birthday parties in general or holidays. So um, I hope these ideas are useful for you. I hope these ideas were useful. And uh, like I said, this is just like a starting point. Um, if you're stuck and don't know where to begin, this would definitely be a really good starting point. If you wanna see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. And then let me know if you can think of any other ideas. Thank you. And so, um, so yeah, these are definitely ideas or products that are selling right now on Etsy and you can make over a thousand dollars a week.